What's up guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel and for those of you who are new here, I'm Akila and we are back with another modest fashion video. In case you didn't know, I do have a modest fashion YouTube series where I talk about a bunch of different things pertaining to modest fashion, of course. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing how I style certain immodest or risque, skimpy pieces of clothing in a more modest way. And I do this so often because this girl over here gets a lot of FOMO when it comes to certain items of clothing or certain trends, for example. So I'm talking off the shoulder tops, crop tops, mini skirts, short shorts, and a bunch of other things. I'm going to show you how this modest girl over here still manages to rock it and how you can do the same. So if you want to see how I make this work for me, keep watching. So the first item of clothing that I'm going to be talking about is going to be the off the shoulder top. Oh my goodness, when this came into style again, I think in 2016 or 2017, I had so much FOMO. My heart was breaking that I couldn't just look like a sexy senorita and just style up this look. But when the weather started to cool down a little bit, I found a way to make it work for me. And that was to pair it with either a shirt underneath or a plain turtleneck top. In particular, in my country, there's a store called Mr. Price and they do ship worldwide. They're a big chain store. They actually sell a lot of turtlenecks in this really thin fabric. It's almost like a t-shirt, but it's even thinner than a t-shirt, but it's not sheer at all. And those have really become my bestie because I pop them under all kinds of revealing tops because they just give you that slim fit and you still get to have your raffles or your puffs or your off the shoulder look if that's what you're after. In 2017, I went to two different fashion weeks here in Cape Town and I rocked a shirt under the one off the shoulder top. And the other look that I wore, this outfit caused such a stir because it was so loud and bold. And I wore this turtleneck underneath it and everybody was so taken aback by how this dress was styled and people commended me on the fact that i didn't just wear the dress and that's the beauty of layering pieces like that you actually bring more style into your outfit when you layer so it's not only modest friendly but it's going to make you look more stylish now the second item that I actually find a way to style modestly is the mini skirt. It's not so much styling it on the outside as what it is me wearing that as an undergarment. So I actually use simple plain mini skirts from my past life that we don't really speak about. I use them as petticoats or to prevent skirts and dresses from clinging to my butt or like kind of like going up there and you know what I mean. Instead it hugs the skirt that's underneath a little bit more and it also prevents it from being sheer. So this is super useful and it's a good hack. So even if you don't wanna invest in a petticoat, cause I know that can be really expensive, you can actually just go into a store like H&M and they have these very skimpy, sexy tube mini skirts that are made of like a t-shirt material as well. And you can just pop them under your dresses. It's actually more of a hack than anything else. Then when it comes to pencil skirts, three quarter skirts, and just sort of over the knee skirts. A really cool way to style them now is to pair them over longer maxi dresses or maxi skirts. Again, this brings a styling element to your outfit. So you're not just wearing this one thing, you're actually styling up your look and you're bringing a sense of fashion to it. This look has been all over Instagram with all the modest fashion bloggers that I follow and I've just been loving the way that it looks. It allows you to play with different textures and fabrics and prints and you actually get to come up with this really unique combination that nobody's really been doing so i really suggest that you try this one out it is major for the season now when it comes to fabric shorts jogger shorts sporty shorts basketball shorts one of the ways that you can make these shorts more modest is by throwing them over a pair of workout tights and then going about on your workout I use this technique basically every single time I work out in a public space because of course it hides the shape of your bum and makes those tights a little bit more modest. If you haven't seen, I've got a modest workout wear guide on my channel from a couple of months back and I will link it down below. It's definitely worth checking out if you are quite active. This is also a good hack to use if you are wondering how you can cover up while being active. You can actually go out and buy yourself a pair of shorts. and you can get shorts that you are comfortable with. So if you are not necessarily comfortable in shorter joggers to wear with your tights, you can still do, like I said, a pair of basketball style shorts. Maybe you can get a plain pair of shorts from the main section. 
You can even get a pair that goes all the way over your knees. It really does help and it allows you to be more mobile as opposed to training. I know some people train in dresses or they train in really long tops. That's maybe not necessarily comfortable. This really works for me and I do it every single time I train publicly. Now, believe it or not, this girl over here loves herself a good crop top. Crop tops are totally doable. You need to again see this as a layering item and not as a sexy item. Not everything has to be sexy, guys. So basically, I love wearing crop tops over shirts. So you layer and you style that look with intention. It's not about trying to make it work in a modest way that still allows you to be sexy, if that makes any sense. I love to wear like a long white boyfriend shirt that covers everything, it's buttoned up to here, it's covering my butt, it's long sleeves, and I'll actually throw a crop top over that and have the little collar stick out, so that's a really cool way to style it, and then you can pair it with some jeans or even a maxi skirt, you can really make it work for you. Another way that I like to wear it is to wear a maxi skirt and then maybe a more casual crop top with a bodysuit underneath and there's literally just a gap like this between the maxi skirt's waistband the maxi skirt's waistband is here and then maybe the crop top is there and you pop that um, bodysuit underneath so you still get that break in the silhouette without it being too skimpy you can also layer crop tops over a long maxi dress i mean why not you can have this really cool different way of styling that simple maxi dress that you maybe think is in your closet for you to wear one specific way. Um, again, it's going to bring a styling element and some dimension to your outfit. Now, since we were just talking about bodysuits, let me tell you how I style bodysuits. Bodysuits are a really handy way to keep you from flashing. Now, whether you are only into wearing skirts or whether you're fine with wearing trousers as well, how many times have we had those issues where when we're standing up, our clothing is perfectly modest and then you sit down and you've got this gape at the back and you potentially flash your bum or you think to yourself, I'm secure and I'm safe because I've got a vest tucked in, but that vest even rides up and you flash people and then you're left like fussing around and being super uncomfortable. You don't want that. So when you are wearing a bodysuit, of course, clips at the crotch and you are secure and you are, you know, covered all the way down so even when you sit down or when you bend over nobody's going to see anything then lastly when it comes to strappy dresses strappy tops and even boob tubes if you're comfortable with the fit it's something that you shouldn't shy away from i love buying strappy dresses and tops now because again i use it as a layering item in the same way that i would for an off the shoulder top i pop white shirts underneath there or blouses or turtlenecks and I just allow myself to have fun with that layering and this is really the key to bringing a modest look to life as opposed to just covering it up you actually bring style and flair and you know do people still use the word swag I don't know maybe I'm getting too old whatever the cool word is right now that's what you're gonna bring into your look and that's what's gonna tie it all together so all of these skimpy items can actually be your bestie in your wardrobe. You just need to know which pieces to get, which look you want to pull off, and you need to embrace it and not see it as a hindrance or something that isn't for you. So I actually want to encourage you guys to go into those sections of the women's wear stores and look at something that you can style that I've mentioned right now, that you can style in a modest way because it's totally possible. I do it all the time. I've kept some pieces from seven, eight years ago when I didn't cover my body and I still love it and make it work. And that is it from me for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that you learned something. As always, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Leave me some love in the comment section below because I always love to hear from you. And if there's anything else you want to see from my Modest Dressing YouTube series, please let me know in the comment section as well. I want to give you guys what you want, what you need help with, and let's see what I can do for you. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Can I have a kiss? No. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not here.